Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Hey, 3K. Yeah, there's no, hey. no William, never again. I know. William. Uh, William was only here for a guest appearance in one episode, that's yeah. it, alright? Just like- it's, Look, it's like- I it. Yeah, it was a- Yeah, it, yeah, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, yeah, whatever it's called. Group trip. Is it like mutual a, hallucination? Uh -huh. I, I said group. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, trying to look, think. Look, of, look, I, look. I'm pretty sure there's like a there's a term for it. mass mass hallucination. Yes. That thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Look. Look. It's like how Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield was only there for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes right? is a long it's time. It's a good amount of time in a Marvel movie. Yeah. Right. Anyway. So so there you go. So uh, William's dead. Speaking of the of the multiverse, uh, mm -hmm. the Gundam build verse. Has okay. come to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. The yeah. great uh, review of the Gundam Build Real live action series that is not Tokusatsu, I guess. Uh huh. But is the closest thing we have to uh, Gundam live action. The. It's, uh -huh. I have a lot of issues with whether or not this is the best example of, like, Gundam live-action at this point. Look, 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 out of the two live-action Gundam properties, media that's been made, how would you say this compares to G, G Gundam or whatever? No, it's not G Gundam, it it's G Savior. Uh, I'm, G -Savior, I'm gonna, I'm go. gonna look up G Savior right now to see if I can, if there's any... Oh, hey, d Oh, wow, the hey, entire the movie is on, on YouTube, YouTube, by the I way. Just found that um... There's a lot of white people in G-Savior, which uh -huh. uh, doesn't help the whole problem with white savior syndrome. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I, I think yeah. that the white people uh, well, are savior. You mean white, white savior, G-Savior, you know, you know, right? Yeah. Uh, also, white people in Xeon suits look way more Nazi-ish than just anime characters in Xeon suits. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this, this is bad. I can't believe okay. this was made. Jesus. I for I didn't know that the What the fuck is this black man wearing? Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I've seen that guy in other things. Uh no, he just kinda looks like Forrest Whitaker. Or Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> Also, hey, look, don't, don't worry. Look, we're gonna get a we're, we're gonna get that legendary Gundam movie or something like yeah, two, three, three years. Uh, in theory. Right? So they say. Um but they really Right, is that fucking? Is that fucking? What's her face? Is that fucking M Molder? Fucking is our Scully? Fucking X Files? Uh, are you looking at the cast of of G of G? I, I gotta here? look this up. I gotta figure out who the fuck got roped into this because I don't. I'm pretty sure this was a Canadian production. Yep, yep, yep. Boy, that that is not a good image they use on this on the characters fucking up wiki article. It's such a wide image they used of him. Jesus. Yeah, Christ. it's it's bad. Um, hold on. Uh, oh, well, apparently they had a manga character. Oh, oh Kobe's in this. Wait, what? <laughs> There's a character named Kobe. Oh, I thought you meant Kobe Bryant. It's like yeah. oh. Uh, I mean, yeah. Listen, if I learned anything from recent tragedies uh, in the area, there are Gundam names everywhere, alright? Uh-huh. Like, uh, Zardok Magruder. Colonel! Colonel Zadok, Zadok, Zadok Magruder, which is a real name of a real person that has a school named mm. after himself in Montgomery County, where there was a shooting. Uh-huh. Boy, I went to the Sunrise uh, official Japanese website, uh -huh. and literally the first thing that pops up is an image of of, of a Love Life character, and I forgot that Sunrise also has the Love yeah, Life. Yeah, it's kind Christ. of the weirdest fucking, like, uh, just thing to also be, like, two things you didn't think that were, like, part of the same family, but they absolutely are. <laughs> but also it does mm -hmm. kind of make sense. I mean, listen, we'll, well, the funny thing is, right, much like... I guess, like, fucking, uh, girl gun lady. It's one of these things where it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah this is for our female audience. 
No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. That's not who's. <laughs> that's not who's buying this. That's not who's consuming this media. I understand uh, what you were hey. trying to do. But and no, you you, you missed the mark. You really missed the mark. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, Jesus Christ! I, I there's a reason I haven't. Boy, fucking hey, they have not done any cross promotion apparently. With what? So. Between Love Live Between and, Love and, Live and Gundam? Gundam? Yeah, well, yeah. well even Gu you, I, you know, uh, Gundam. Gundam likes their their properties to be of age. That's why it uh, paired with fucking Hello Kitty. Uh huh. A good forty five year old milf age, or what is it, fifty years? It's it's, no, isn't Hello Kitty way older than that? Uh, what was well, what was no, the collaboration? Ugh, we're like reaching over to. Ah. Sorry, okay. I pulled out the headphone. Ugh. Let's look at the Hello Kitty Zaku. What does it say? Ugh. Oh hey. It does not say on it. Uh, I feel let's, like this is part of the. How old is Hello Kitty? Hello oh no, Sonorio is... seventy six. Okay, uh, seventy five. And then seventy eight or seventy nine for Gundam. Yeah, so uh -huh. it was the. It was the forty fifth for Hello Kitty and forty year fortieth for. Gundam, I think, when they started their whole collaboration. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, either way, like, uh, listen, Gundam has class and taste. It doesn't want any of those. Hello Kitty deserves to be able to carry an automatic rifle. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Kill that frog. Uh, fight a Gretzko for dominance. No. Um, but yeah, I just have to say, you know, build, build real. All right. So six Wait, episodes of a production. not build anything really. Yeah. yeah of a drama. Uh, of, of a, of a quote unquote drama. The real thing. Uh, half an hour long. Yeah. Half an hour long. Uh, yeah. Did, what if they just actually, made just a live action version of like. Of the, what, build divers? Yeah, or. So we have CGI people in fur suits? No. Or people uh -oh. in actual fur suits? No, don't need fur people. Listen, according to Bill Divers, need we need it. fur people. Okay, no. I'm talking about a live action show. I'm not talking about new Bill Divers. I'm saying just a weird live action with the idea from Bill Divers of you are a person, you build your thingy, you put it in the thing, and then you're in a weird 3D cockpit like in Iron Man. When you right, and then, and then you... No, they're not for people. And then you pay for skins microtransactions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that you can look like a furry. Okay. Well, or in the real world, somebody sits down a in a cockpit and just wears a fursuit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I assume that would be what you have to do. But also, I think that you have a furry problem. I have a problem with the amount of furries showing up all over the place. Not with the community. They're whatever, but... It's like I went to the beach and met some furries once. Yeah, they were their for fursuit on the beach. Yeah, that's that a, a that's that's a. Anyways, that's a plan. So, so you say you really want to be a furry? I really and, don't. Um, Please don't start this rumor. Ooh. Let's not let's let's uh -oh, not uh -oh. let's uh -oh. not bring that's this a, up. That's a, that's a strong statement to say. Every time that's a strong statement to say on recording. Furries. Because uh, there's like, so, so no, it's not even Bill Divers Rerise. It's Bill Divers in general. The the so progression of this sub franchise of the Gundam uh -huh. franchise, the build franchise, yeah, has like went from went from like a grounded like thing with build fighters to an extent like oh, oh but we like fancy fanciful yeah and then they went build divers <laughs> it's sao it's it's dot hack but it's you know, people can have their own mm -hmm. virtual avatars. That's when they started yeah, going yeah. down the line of furry shit. And then they really went there with like, hey, we made a. What if there was another planet? It's all furry people. That's uh -huh. I'm just saying. And then they decided to come back, and we got this six episode thing that. Just getting back to the review of it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad it seems bad on paper and somehow uh -huh. this came out 
relatively competently. Yeah, it was watchable. Yeah. It was interesting. And, and if you're trying to explain to someone what happened or what it is, you got nothing. Well, I would have... Like, okay. There's a group of guys that were friends as okay. kids. And then you... I feel like there's just so much that you have to kind of... There's no straight line of a story. This. Yeah, I, I would also say that there's like there's it's not that there's no straight story it's just that it's like it goes and touches everything else like just a little bit like well no that's definitely not straight that's just one big zigzag line uh it goes from point a to b but it takes all these like sub steps to get there. Like it technically, oh, like so basically scene. it does. Basically, yeah. it does a bunch of unneeded side quests. Yeah, I mean that is basically what it is, right? It is. Yeah. It is them trying to have some kind of like, uh, like trying to do all these sub quests to like level themselves up to get there. But they don't really do that much until the last half of the series. Yeah. Like the thing is. The, the formula is very sad, honestly, for them, for the most part of the uh, show. The only people that they beat are the girl team, which, sexism notwithstanding of that, which, clear, like, the, the spotlight that they have on the one female team, and the fact uh -huh. that they have this, like, Pink, because he was injured. This pink Gundam with a fucking teddy bear shield slash punching bag. I don't know, like, what their idea was there. And then, like, the fact that that's supposed to be their one win, and it's like, they're still not, like, a, this haphazard slapdash team. Uh, but for some reason, like, the only win that they are able to pull off against all of their opponents until the end is somehow the one girls. And it's like... The one girls. Well, the one team of girls. Right, do you think the, entry, yeah. the, ent the entry barrier in this world, this universe, where anyone can make a gun, is that low? Or, or are they just that bad? Well, right? see, here's the thing, right? Is like... Again, this is the the thing that I'm trying to wrap my head around with and like trying to keep it within, like, the comparative realm of this build sub-franchise of Gundam, right? In Build Fighters, in all of these animated Gundam build series, yeah, yeah, yeah. they've done a very good job of, like, fleshing out the cast of all of their characters. Every competitor, it all follows, like, typical sports anime sort of shit of, like, you have rivals, and they have dreams, and re and there's betrayals and reasons why stuff is happening, and you know it's which is also the reason that this show comes off a lot like free, right? Well, yeah, I mean it's all it's it's making a competition out of it. It's yeah. it's it's the Yu Gi Oh. Sports it's the, anime. Yeah, I mean, what is what are Gundam Beyblade about? and Yu Gi Oh? But sports anime about nerd shit. This that's the same thing with Gundam Build, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But like. Even the the worst characters in in fucking uh, in like the build series, there's like a recurring joke with them, or like oh it's funny that they're bad, or like we get to see some. There, there's enough of them throughout the series that we get. To, we don't even know a single member of Team Luminous, the first team that they fight. And the, and the second they, they were last just team the they were just the team they had to beat. You don't need to give them. Names, I'm just saying, you know, like right? they're the they're the they're the first team that they lose to, and then they finally beat them at the end before they face Monster. And it should be like this. The show itself is too short for them to go into detail about anything too much, but they try to put too many story points into it as well. Yeah, like there there should be this arc to it, but they don't have enough time to do any of it, and they don't even try to really. And instead, we spend all this time, like, wandering around with, like, these, this random group of, like, uh, like, the, the influencer girls or whatever, fine. The makeup YouTuber girls, yeah. are, it's fine. But, like, 
I don't know the other two's names off the top of my mm -hmm. head. I barely remember fucking S. I remember an S. Sasaki? Sa Satsuki? Satsuki? Right? Sure. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I it's they introduce a lot of things really fast, don't cover them, and then end it. Yeah. Which is not great. I mean, but that... at least it's interesting to watch, and you can kind of keep up with the plot. Yeah, like, I if mean, you're trying to actually get something out of it, and not just have something interesting on, I... to, like amuse a child or something. Yeah. You get nothing. <laughs> I guess that's the thing. Is like, I think it's something that shows a lot of potential for where. Bandai can go, Bandai and Sunrise can go with live action Gundam. Like, they've shown a relatively decent and competent incorporation of, like, live action filming and uh, CGI Gundam fights. It's mm -hmm. certainly better than the fucking, like, G Savior shit that I just walked yeah. back into. But like, yes, I'm just thinking about this in a different way now that you're saying that. Mm -hmm. Is what if this is this whole series is essentially just a prologue? It. That's an interesting concept, but I. I mean, what would the with a prologue to a main series that'll be longer? Yeah. What is like, this a prog to the Gundam? To the, like, to the Netflix Gundam well, series? Well, oh, Jesus, no. It's a movie, not a series, right? Oh, is this? Is I'm, it a movie? I'm pretty sure the legendary thing is a movie. Oh, yeah, is yeah, a no, movie. you're right, yeah. right. It is a movie. It is a movie. Yeah, but yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. My yeah. thing is, uh, like, I mean, because the, they, they leave it off of this cliffhanger of like, oh, we're going to the championships at, in Tokyo. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. And Sasuke's like, see you in I'll season see you two, there. bitch. Uh,. And, yeah. hey, tell my family, don't look for me, I guess. I guess. Uh, but, like... <sighs> Jesus Christ. They've, I'm re-watching the first episode where they pour juice on fucking parts. Uh, yeah, but there were parts in there! Uh, but, like... <sighs> it, the, the only thing I can think of is, I like... Know, I, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, I feel like the, the prologue... Jesus Christ, that small boy has an airsoft gun. Yeah, uh, that I keep, scared me at yeah. the beginning. Um, but, like... Nah, I'm hit him with a stick! Anyways. Yeah, the, the whole series is, like... It seems almost like a test bed for, like, proving that they can do it. I guess I meant more of a prelude than a prologue. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know that that's markedly different. Um... Preludes are just something alluding to a future thing, or who's a prologue, which is introducing the back history to a specific thing. Okay. But, I guess, like, let's think about this. Let's think about all the questions that we have by the end of this series, right? So, they introduce That's us to... Lot. Right! So they introduce us to our five main characters. I'd say... Yeah. They did a decent job of explaining, like the Gundam build uh, competition to an extent, but... Who, more what's... focus on Gundam and, like, pieces and parts. Yeah, and but, like, like, what's the... What are the rules? Let's start with that. Like, what are the rules to it? What parts are allowed and what aren't? Because we clearly... We didn't actually figure that out when we were writing it, so we kind of just glossed over it. Right. Okay, here. You guys can use... I mean, clearly it seems like everything is in the 1144 scale. But it seems like mm -hmm. between real grade and high grade, there's some flexibility there. Because again, the high grade the Sinan the Neo Zeong is only available as a high grade. Yeah. And so are like the yeah, We're the, left to kind of just figure out the rules, and if you don't know these things about, like, the different grades and stuff, then you're just like, I don't know, everything's yeah. fine, right? I mean, nobody's showing up with a fucking master grade, grade or, like, a perfect grade that's, like, towering over this shit. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but, like, clearly there's some liberties that are, like, Jesus Christ. There's some... not enough episodes to cover Nakamaru's sexual problem arc. Yeah, there's not enough to explain, like... more about, um, 
Takumi's sadness, sad boyness. Yeah, and I want to buy something that serial killer guy actually likes. I mean, he likes pussy. That's the whole reason he stayed. He stayed for the potential for pussy. Uh. You gonna get one of the two girls. Oh, hey, and, yeah. was, and also, don't we just not have a group manner that's never that? Yeah, we and we still have passing no flashback. idea what Imaizumi is up to, other than yeah. being right, abroad we'll and Imaizumi. sending them. Turns out he's like, actually parts. been here the whole time. It really feels like that should have been the big reveal or something. Weird. There was no I payoff think... to that other than, uh, the paint. You, yeah, the paint, mm. and and they were like, it's probably foreign. We can probably get it from Imaizumi. There's no. No, because of Izumi, it's probably foreign. Well, yeah, but, like, I think their solution was that they had to contact Ibaizumi. No, they use uh, drunk guys' connections. Uh, so, like, was it just that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was like, I know people overseas and stuff, so... Let's see. Uh... Let's... Uh, but my, my point is simply... Like, he's... Their whole... Their whole... Thought process here... Where is it? Okay. Right, they're all being idiots and they fuck shit up and they break things. Uh-huh, and... uh-huh. Girls break your shit. Someone's getting too excited watching you. Yeah. Uh... Overseas. Hold on, just trying to get to the... Uh-oh, just uh-oh, trying uh-oh. to uh-huh. find the answer to whether or not they actually... Contacted demise me. There are many overseas paint makers. I could ask a paint company I know well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So there's literally no payoff to demise me as a character, other than the fact that because his shit was because he's in a foreign country, clearly the paint he used foreign. must be foreign. That's it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I was right. yeah, no, you're right. I'm just saying. There's so Forget many it's... loose ends that are and Why and unpaid off like like. Like cliffhangers and Chekhov's guns. Like y'all could literally have just completely for- skipped Amaze Me and been like, "Oh no, there was that one weird paint that we got from some weird shop, and it was the only one color of that paint that we had." Yeah. Do we still have it? And then they have to search through like their yeah. little studio like, area, yeah. and it's in a in the horror like horror on the bottom. Um, yeah. And it's just like this tiny cup of like dusty ass faded paint, and it's like everything you're describing would be less. Foreign. Would be and that makes so much require sense. less like build up like, and like hey, less there's left a guy off. We don't know. I know. I just completely rerouted the story. Yeah. So oh wow! It's almost like it's almost like if we spent another twenty minutes on it, we could have. Yeah. If, it out. if something got a little bit more time, they really could have done this like better. But they just didn't know how to balance out like everything. They it's. The difference between a, like, middle schooler writing an essay and you want to jam everything that you think that you've ever known about everything in it versus when you get to a college level and you're writing an essay and you're just like, nah, I only need the key points. I, I feel like it's not even that. I feel like it's, like, you wrote a thesis, right? There's a, there's a, on paper, it says, this is going to talk about this. And then it's like, your, your professor or your teacher writes back to you and goes, Okay, so why did you go off on this tangent? Why are we talking about... Why are we spending time on the interactions between uh, serial killer boy and him having tissues and proving that he's better than, than the others like at being polite and like providing for one? Why are we including this part with Soda in the like at his gas station job? Like... Yeah. Wh- what? Is- why is that necessary? Why are Takumi and Hiro I mean fighting between so many times for like the first three episodes? And then being concise. Yeah, I guess that's is it, yeah. What I, mean. I guess it's just like I feel like a a better. Yeah, no, I I get what you mean. It's just it's not even. I would say it's concise, just on a point that isn't the point of the show. Like it's concise about. When you write they're, an essay, but it's not what the topic yeah, is Yeah, it's, like, it's concise it's about, what about to write like, about. they're really focused on the dra- like the drama between the boys of the main team, of our main six, five, three. really. Um, but it doesn't ever really, like... Like, I wish we spent more time on, like, them 
putting the Gundam bag together, or even like building it with the girls or something, because then it's like at least more about building and less about boys. Yeah, no, I mean, they, they builds over boys. They, yeah, builds over builds over bussy, which I believe is butt pussy. I think. I don't know. My point is to we verify this. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's Urban Dictionary say bussy is? Is it bussy or bussy? It's bussy? It bussy? I thought it was bussy. Urban Di Oh, it's a gay man's butthole. So I was right. Yeah, because you okay. can't have both a bussy and a bussy. How can you not have... I... Well, Pretty we don't have to talk about sex time stuff. Oh! Well, see, the first they say is boy pussy. I was thinking mm -hmm. of butt pussy. And I don't know. I've seen enough hentai to know where that goes. There's... There, and by that... By... By... Uh, the definitions of dojins, I think there'd be mussies, tussies, pussies. Also, a vagina is... A, a woman is... It's not... A, it's not a pumman. So it's not, or a pearl. So it's not, a, that's not I what mean, pussy comes from. Not with an IRL. <laughs> yeah. Uh, boy, mm, I don't like. Oh, I feel, I feel like, I feel like we're going down our, I feel like we're, we're getting, going down a rabbit hole. We shouldn't be getting down to all the time. Show itself, it gets like a 7 out of 10. As trying to make any sense related to like Gundam and stuff, it gets like a. Yeah, I was gonna say like barely a four. I mean, the thing is, yeah, it answer. really is something where I have to look at it and try and like. I mean, it's the best compilation of the fucking Fair shit. I just, uh, looking up at like the exact same moments every time. Yeah, it's almost like they also repeat a lot of fucking things like happening. There's no, so many moments where there's this one guy that I don't actually them remember fighting. Oh, with the the unicorn. That was the first one. No, like a literal person. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're thinking of when Hiro and Takumi, like, tussle in the back of his dad's restaurant. No, oh, I mean, there's literally a close-up shot because it's going from, like, Hiro's face to somebody else's face to somebody else. There's, like, a specific sequence. Okay. Just... okay. All right, here. I'm going to let you control the Gundam Build Real music video made by Shin okay. Gundam. Austin, as a person who hasn't watched the Gundam Build series, how does this rank to you with other Gundam shit that you've ever seen? Boy, hey, here's my problem with this series, right? Yeah. There was a lot of drama in this series when there should not have been a lot of drama within this series, right? Yeah. Right, like, I was just expecting this show. I was like, hey, it's a group of friends that hasn't seen each other like five, five, ten years or whatever the fuck. Like, hey, you guys want to do Gundam? Oh, it's, then the, I was it's from the first like, Okay, I just don't remember. Right? That I was expecting, existed. like, all right, the first two episodes. Yeah. We're anyway, going to get first two or three it. episodes. We're going to get our ass kicked. Right. Because we don't know how to fuck to play Gundam. Right. Because we haven't touched Gundam in five to ten years. And it turns out when you return to a, to a, to a, to a, to something that has a competitive scene after five, ten years, not what it was when, when you left. It yeah, turns it turns out. <laughs> Yeah, you might not be the master of your duel. What, what's with what the what's with all these blue cards that aren't ritual sum that aren't ritual monsters? Mm -hmm. And why are they still playing Yu-Gi-Oh? And then you try to walk back in, and you're just like, I yeah. don't know where I am. Why can't I use yeah, this like, link three and a monster to make episode, a link three? But the fact that these characters don't look like I want to say bother to learn or get better, right? Because by the second they're so like, all right, all right, look, 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 look. Hey, look the most we practice lost, we see you know, is him swinging right? a stick outside, which. Right, I was like, 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 like after the like, all right, we lost, all right, you know, uh, let's just regroup, repent, and let's just challenge another team. Yeah, and, let's and keep let's ramming our head the against the wall best, until the something best breaks team in the oh, area oh, and God. see what happens after that. Right? Yeah, it's really jarring how these like, this like, this is such a bad character growth for these characters, right? For this Gundam series, and like, like, it doesn't take them like to like the fourth episode to realize, hey, maybe we're doing something yeah, wrong. Yeah, maybe we suck. 
<laughs> right? It's really jarring how these characters refuse to actually acknowledge that they're really bad and that they should have got. Like, I was expecting that for at least like the first or second episode. And then by the third episode, they realized. All right, like, let's, oh, no, let's take this seriously they're now. Just continuing. Okay. Like, I would say... Oh, yeah. boy. Just I would say... The, the really funny thing is to me, right? So, they lose... Or they beat the the, the girl team. I don't know. I forget what yeah. it was. What is it? Team... I feel like it was literally something like Team Girly or something. Girl Ski. That's Girl-ski. what it was. Yeah, right. So, it's like yes. Team Girly. Girlsy. Team... Uh, we're the girls. Team Hawk Girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like, they beat them because... Victory's a in, Hawk Girl bummer. In, yeah. In theory, right, it's because it's essentially just two people that aren't competitively good. It's two teams that aren't competitively good, and they were marginally better in skill. But if you actually look at what the girls' Gundam was... That more looked creativity. <laughs> way more creative and like way more painted and stuff than like and customized than what they had ever done with their shit. So it's actually doubly insulting that they fucking beat them because it's like they, have, they, they should have won. On their fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Extra bears. But somehow the only the reason they win is because they refuse to let girls fucking win. I guess in this shit, even though yeah. again going back to. The build sub franchise. There have been plenty of competent female competitors. They're not often just competent female. Not competitors. just like girls, but like women playing the fucking competition. I mean, some of them are fucking. It's it's fucking comedy. Like in the uh, GM's Revolution, uh, where they have a, a when they're all. Which, the whole plot of this, like, OVA movie thing that they have is to connect build fighters to build fighters try, and in it they have a convoluted, like, stupid plot with that has to do with the whole, like, different world, like, shit thing happening, but they have to fight against these, like, people that are trying to somehow by playing, uh the goddamn Gundam build fight, they'll be able to mm-hmm. tear down... They'll be able to break the system and, and prove that they're the best, and that will somehow vindicate them from being arrested by the Gundam... by the Gumpla police, or whatever. Because that's <laughs> yeah, how yeah. fucking... That's that's how fucking, you know, these yeah, shows you are. Know, the world's at a sad point when police are literally mm-hmm. advertising jobs to join the police on the back of their cop cars. Hey, listen. They're... Join now. Join now. Join the crack, police. Crack hey, down hey, on hey, the gunpla hey, raids. Should... Hey, people Sorry, are. I just thought about that. People I are... saw a police car earlier today, and it was just like, join the police. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, I... I mean, listen. If they could stop those train jackings where they're taking Amazon packages, because some of us need to get our gunpla supply, like. And Yo, imagine your fucking expensive ass gumblets just lying on the side of the road because nobody actually wanted it because it's one of the things yeah, that people that's fucking, fucking take. horrifying to me. Like, do you go and just start digging through? And find no, you just cry, cry and have Amazon go. Whoops! Should have got insurance. Yeah, I guess that's what Prime is for. Maybe send your drones, Amazon. Have the drones fight the the train jackers. Trim out the sky. Uh, yeah. but anyway, what I was gonna say is just like. In GM's counterattack, there's like, oh, hey, uh, one of our members of this bad guy team is this full-grown woman in a bikini that is fighting as, like, she's like, ooh, aren't you distracted by my titties? And it's like, (laughs) what the fuck is this show? And it's like, are you? And it's like, okay, that works for, like, a, a comedic thing. None of that really hits here. It's just a bunch of, like, awkward boys figuring out how to interact around a bunch of weird, it's like, girls. Japanese yeah. <laughs> but, anyway, I guess... It... I don't know what else to say about Would this. Would I recommend it to anyone? 
Um, depends on whether or not they know anything about Gumblow. I, I guess that's the thing, is like... If you really want a very loose introduction... No, but... this is not something that you give to somebody as a as an introduction to... You not can't... Really the Gundam... Like the concept. I don't know, the Gundam build series in general is not for the everyday person that's not into Gunpla. Like... I feel like that's more that people are into Gunpla, and then, like, real series are more for people who are into Gundam. Specifically. Ye you... I mean, but the thing is, like, they don't even... Gunpla being literal models. Yeah, but I guess it's just... just they don't even show... That many mobile suits! There's not that many... There's not that much Gundam in this Gundam build series. I guess if you're going to show, like, a nine-year-old a fucking cool show, that's in Japanese, I guess. I wouldn't... I mean, I mean but would you really just show a nine-year-old kid this? I don't know. Over, like, any of the other stupid Japanese kid show, like, yeah, at, Sentai or Oh, over Runner, anything else, or no. Ultraman or anything? Could you? Sure. I mean, you could, but, like... Right, but the pro like, but there's such little action in this. Because it's sure plays itself out like a drama, but the drama is very bad. Like yeah. these the character yeah. dynamics are so are so badly written. Like all of a sudden uh, uh was it Shota? Shota? The guy that No Soda, Soda. So Soda, Soda, right? Pop. He's like, hey look guys, I know I know we've been friends for like for like ten plus years or something. And we all but, agreed hey, to like get back into this like hobby together. Right? Hey, but that guy offered me offered me ten dollars and he said, <laughs> yeah. ten more dollars. Ten dollars and a stick of gum. No, he offered me ten dollars and he publicly humiliated you by beating the snot out of you. Yeah, I right. don't take any. So I don't take any fault quit. with that. It's not on me. Yes, I'm just gonna go quit now and join his team. Yeah. Right? like the character dynamic in the show is so it's so weird. Like how these present with these character dramas, right? Right. There's no. And then you have like the. There's there's mm -hmm. no, like, again going to, uh. It's not real drama. It's right. Just like, it's, but I just right, mean like going to like actual characters. Drama that someone per present. Going to characters. Right. Uh, what do they fucking say? Characters incentives like to fucking do things like yeah, yeah. like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if the, yeah motives. If yeah. they had shown one thing with like again like typical drama shit, J drama shit. If they had shown one yeah. thing with like Soda's dad or something in a fucking hospital bed. <laughs> okay, like I get it. Was a champion. Like, like yeah. I get it. He's, I get it. He's, he's working at the gas station, like, and he's, he's going to, and his dad's yeah, like yeah, in yeah. the hospital. He needs to go to like a serious team so that he can make the money to like he goes get the like, champion. Yeah, right. Yeah, stuff has, like, like that. Right. Gumpla model on it, and it's just like, Grandpa, I promise to make you proud. I love Gundam. Yeah. If I, if someone put, I, I, I am saying this publicly as public into, record. Like, the... If someone puts a okay. Gunpla on my grave. Don't do that. Why not? <laughs> Pers keep it, keep it in no, in I the mean, in the no, IKEA no. Detolf. Don't fucking entire Detolf. No, oh, wait, hold on. But oh, wait, hold on. But but but, but, but what? But so so you know, Asian house has like those shrines for for family members. Yeah, and everything, right? Can I put like a little Gundam? Keep it a Gundam there, That's and, like I mean. family shrine. I mean, that's is it in? Is it in, that, that is it in a glass trophy case? Uh, no, but you can it could be. If it's one of my custom gunpla in a in a glass yeah, trophy like... case with UV protection, and you just glue it to the shrine, and then you just go, Grandpa. I don't know if you should be gluing anything to a you shrine. You should melt it to the shrine. I don't know if you should be melting anything on the shrine. Boy, My hey, this, uh, you, this is starting to sound like a diorama all of a yeah, sudden. This is, <laughs> yeah, this sounds, this sounds this more like you're making a like model kit diorama with my dead face on it. <laughs> Which, to be fair, feels dead. more like a fucking like, real thing well, that Gundam would have. If you your face on someone, it, something, it's going to be your alive face, not your dead face. Nobody really wants to look at your face after you die. Say that to open casket, motherfuckers. How many people really want to go look in there? Versus how I, many people just do I, it because it's the I, nice I, thing to as do. As someone who's done it once, won't yeah, do it again. Want to, uh, I want somebody to go, hey, I, I just, go. I just... What with the flow? I yeah, just kind of fucking thought, that's odd. Let me... Nope, didn't like that. People don't like looking at dead, dead people. Yeah. Surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Speaking of dead people, uh, Satsuki's dreams, I guess... 
Out of all of the female girl, out of all the female characters, she had the most development and the most like interaction with the main cast. And there was yet again nothing really explained about her. I'll, I'll do you one better. The girl, in, on the bus. girl characters in this show is just so fucking awkward and weird to exist. They had no reason. It's still very fucking weird how we're introduced to them, right? It's because of what Nakamura, right? That's the one who owns. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Well, no, I mean technically, like, he, like, we're he, first introduced he, to them. He rents out the yeah. his beach house like these three high school girls for them to shoot their beauty video. I was like, dude, what they, do you think the conversation was at high school though? Because they, the, the point what? is that like they go to high school together. Right? That's the thing. It's like, because all the boys yeah. go to different high schools, I guess. But somehow, even though when we're first introduced to the girls, and the reason why Hiro no, like, recognizes Satsuki initially is because they're like throwing chapstick around at the bus and like it accidentally hits him in the head. Like, but like, what was the com- what the, what's the conversation that happens between like Nakamaru and the girls in his class where it's like, Oh, hey, I hear you get- Oh, you guys are talking about making a YouTube channel? Well, I have a perfect space that my parents owns if you guys want to come record there. Yeah, I mean, and it's like, it's located- It's located up in the hill, out, yeah. like, I bought you away an from camera. the town where no one can hear us. It's like the-, the, 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 the it was like a house on a hill, like, up above, right? Ne- not next to, like, any major roads. This is the- this is the safest place for you guys to be at, by the way. That's gonna- right? Yeah. It's also like it's just so jarring yeah. how these characters are introduced, You're, and even that they still don't really need to be exist within this show's series, right? Like you could write them out, and they doesn't make it in. It. Like you could have just made like Sasha like some another character, like like some back like I don't know like a customer or some shit, right? That goes to like the the restaurant, yeah, or that. Right, and it still probably would have the same impact if anything. I mean, right? Like the only major things that the girls ever did was was when they took the Gundam to film a video and broke it. What I'll say again, in comparison to like the Gundam build series, like the anime, right? What they do with their like main girl characters, typically to just shoehorn it in, is like childhood friend, childhood friend, right? And yeah. In most of them, the childhood friend winds up being like, Oh, I'm a girl, but I don't know how to play Gunpla, but he plays Gunpla, so maybe I'll try it. And that's how we got, like, the bears. The continuation <laughs> like, of this series is just gonna be, like, talk me gets cancer, so we can just play Sotsky on the team. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. They wind up... Hey, look, don't worry. What's well, she... no, look, look, that's the only place... Cause, Cause, it's clearly obvious that she can't learn about Gundam in this town because everyone sucks. Yeah. So she has to travel to Tokyo to look for the gun, the Gunpla Master to teach. Oh, her, you mean right? Majin Kawaguchi, yeah. who is a real fucking person, by the way. The Majin oh, Kawaguchi is a real thing. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Like, so in Gunpla like customization, there is a guy na- titled Majin Kawaguchi. I need to find what the and fuck his real Majin name is. In- no, no, Majin is like the title. Mm-hmm. His name is Katsumi Kawaguchi. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. No, like he's a he's a real man born in 1961. Oh, okay. okay, okay. And he's the professional modeler, and he's become an executive Bandai of like Bandai Corp. I bet he has. Oh, that's pretty and good. And so, that's pretty good. In Gundam Build Fighters. They make this whole thing about, like... Majin Kawaguchi. Majin Kawaguchi. You're the third Majin Kawaguchi. You've inherited the title. Like, all of this stuff. There is some, like, deification stuff happening. But, like... It's not... None of that is alluded to in this. There's no... There's no greater world that's really expanded on. It's all Mm -hmm. so focused onto, like, the... Even with Monster, right, which is this team that's supposed to be the best and, like, an elite one, they're all just, like, hyper-focused on this one, like, little port town that they're all just running yeah. around the entire time. I guess that's kind of why I feel like this has to be, like, a beginning precursor to something. But, like... Mm-hmm. Mostly because it just feels so incomplete. 
Yeah, we, like this this world this world is so is so bare bones, right? Right? It's it's, it's like I'm gonna use the example of Yu-Gi-Oh for this, right? How in Yu-Gi-Oh how we have like oh yeah hey do monster rules the fucking world, right? Like hey it's the only sports. Kaiba can rent out an entire city to host his stupid little weekend tournament, right? right? And, and we're supposed to assume that that in this universe that gunpla battle is like the most major thing, right? But it's very it's. Too, I want to say too big scale, right? Because we start off right away in like this bumfuck nowhere town, and all of a sudden, hey, here's VR machines, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, ooh, that's a that's that's pretty big to start off with, right? Oh no, no, no. Here's a better example: Mega Man, the Mega Man Battle Network series, the, right? The, the anime. Right? Yeah. How they started off when they did Mega Man battles, they just did like here's a here's a shitty Beyblade stadium for you guys to do your Mega Man battle in, right? Then as the series progressed, they got to like the the Grand Prix tournament. Yeah. They had an actual stage to fight. Right. Like, there you go. That's a way better example. No, I mean... Right? I, and even... Again, this is going back to the anime, right? Because the fact is, Gundam Build Real is meant to be a part of this build sub-franchise of Gundam. That's what I'm going to keep calling it. And, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in that, it's like... Yeah, there's the Gumpla Builders like club in school. Like the easy, it's 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 such an easy formula on paper for like yeah. the for the anime where it's just like, oh hey, we have a club and yeah, we luckily our school has like a a stage set up for it. But mm-hmm. and and so you can have it with oh we're competing against this other school or you know this upperclassman who like leaves the school because he has to go become Majin Kawaguchi the third. Oh no. He yeah. was our he was our rival, but we won't be able to fight him until we can get to the championships. Mm-hmm. But for this it's like it's so slapdash. It's more like what I would say in comparison is like the Beyblade World the World Beyblade Organization. It, yeah, like IRL, where it's you like the battles in the park. Yeah, this is absolutely like they then fucking went a on a forum center. and they went. Yeah, and you get to like a civic center, and then you get to like county <laughs> or regional. And or then state. you get to the twenty twenty into the twenty twelve Beyblade World Championships. Oh and Jesus. From Turkey, and your parents just got shot because you lost. Or you can be the small Japanese kid who has his own fucking jersey. Oh. Team Monster. That's basically it. Yeah. This is the 2020. This is the. This is the gun. This is the gunpla equivalent of the 2012 Beyblade World Championship. That's the answer. That is the answer. That's the whole show. Have you watched the 2012 it, Beyblade World it was Championship? Down to Japan and. It was down to Japan and America. Okay. It was the most anime fucking shit to yeah. ever happen in real life. But it would be more like if one side just walked in with, like, the oldest fucking Beyblade that fucking Yeah, I out. would say, right. right, this is... You're right. That's not fair to the Beyblade World Championship. Yeah. The 2012 Beyblade this World Championship so had slides. Yeah. And shirts well, look, that they gave kids. It had shirts, it had shirts, slides... And break dancers. And break dancers. And a yeah. death and a cage death match at the end. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. And and ref Ken. Or oh yeah, and and DJ DJ, DJ Ken. DJ Ken or whatever his name is. Oh, uh, let me I check. Like let me yeah, check don't, Twitter. Don't, see if I if I'm still following him. Uh, I still. Yeah, follow I haven't him, seen I a think. tweet from him in forever, but. Uh, he doesn't post. He doesn't post on that account. He just has that account. What if you just tweet at him until uh, he DJ, responds. Actually, wait. He, he I also followed him on Instagram. He does post on that one for some reason. Oh, okay. Or maybe okay. that's just oh, Beyblade okay. in general. Is that spell Asian Beyblade? Oh, okay. Uh, that's yeah. right. Also, another problem I had with this show oh, was the lack of gunpla in general in the show. Yeah. Right. So gunplas aren't uh mix and match, right? Like you can't just take parts on this. Well, that's kind of the there. that's kind of the the whole implied appeal of these fucking. Gundam Build right, series. Right, yeah, right. Is yeah, but we're gonna yes make no. a series and called no, Build, right? What? Right, you gotta apply like, at least at least more creative freedom. Right, because there's no creative freedom. Like everyone just has like here like they all just went to the local hobby store, like, hey, give me the give me the RX seventy two. Yeah, give me the this give me real the, brain, yeah. 
And then I'll paint it a, a bit. A Barbaros model, right? And that's it, right? Right, I would have liked it more if this was more free, right? Literally, the well, last episode is called Gunplay. Right, Fucking because that's the freedom, whole right? point. Gunplay is freedom. Like the whole the whole tagline of these Gundam build series is supposed to be Gunpla is freedom, and like sure yeah. in the last episode, yes, there are like again this whole thing about like armaments and like the the person who, the that's like designing the armaments they're the ones that are in the lead they they they're putting all these parts together. But, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Talk Me literally slaps two bazookas together to a shield, I'm presuming with fucking super glue or crazy glue. Yeah. Like, and mm-hmm. then it's just like, boom. What? They made a new part at the last minute? I mean. Well, they used parts that they already had that were approved, so. Right, yeah. It's just very dark how, like, I was expecting, like, it was amazing that they didn't even make, like, a new, mo- a new, a new, yeah. like, a new kit for the series right like the old something like they're just using like the wild. kit that they just had in the in like the warehouse like all right this is your show's budget you know like, we're not gonna give you guys like a custom model for your show to advertise you know like the closest you're gonna get is like the repaint of the rx72 i guess we're releasing model kit based on that repaint and that's it right right i would like the more there was like more freedom within this show of people actually like like a custom like an in-universe new gundam debut like like a new model debut within the show that be like oh yeah here's here's this show's original OC and then afterwards hey kids go buy this original OC you can get you know right well that's right? the whole thing of like they they like okay I'm gonna just pull up some of these Gundam build kits like uh-huh. uh let's see Gundam build but in the end which left you with more questions this or girl complaining well that's boy boy yeah. No matter how we look at it, it's still better than Girlfriend Lady. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm... Let's see. Gundam Build Fighter... No, not... No, Gundam Breaker Battle Log. So even... Let me put in... Let me, let me add even more things to this, right? So r- recently, Gunpla and Gundam Info put out, like, a Gundam Breaker Battle Log, which is based off of the fucking uh-huh. phone game. Okay. And, like, they put out, like, six or seven... Yeah, like, I'm looking, yeah. I'm going through Google Image right now. There, this, these looks like custom Gundam yeah. built for the show. Yeah, there's, a, there's the Gundam Barbataros, a Centaur Barbatos with four, like, legs, right? That's one thing. Uh, There's... Here, I'm just going to share... That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. Like, that's a custom yeah, yeah, one. I'm looking at it right now. Yep, that's the one I saw. That looks cool, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, the Gundam Live Lance Heaven, which is a remake of the Death Scythe Hell from Gundam Wing. Right. Uh, oh. Right, is this like, I didn't know what was the restriction. Like, if Bandai or Sunrise was just like, hey, we're like, saying, hey, you can't make any new Gundams or you can only use X and Y, right? And that's all you get for your show's budget, you know, right? Yeah. It was just like, what is right? How, like, this show is really basic, right? In presentation for the audience. Like, there's nothing to get excited about. Like, like the RX-72 is cool and all, but... But like everyone knows the RX seventy two, right? Right, and it's right. It's like it's like it's like it's like it's like a new Pokemon media because I'm like, hey, check it out. Your main character has a Pikachu. Yeah, wow, whoa, wow, what a surprise! Hey, or or, or a surprise, you might get, or you could get a Charmander instead. Wow, right? oh man, I can't wow, wait for wait. Charmander. Like, like I wouldn't have had a problem with the with the seventy two being the big if it like quote unquote evolved. Right. Well, right. I don't know. So. I'm going to keep it, making these comparisons. Like it doesn't end up as the 72. Like, they use the 72 as a base, and then by the end of the series, right, they're like, all right, we, let's take everything we learned and redo our Gundam, right, to make our new Gundam. Let's make the RX-72 too, or 3 or whatever the fuck you want to call it, yeah. right? So I'm going to show you... Hold on. Let me show you this little fucker, right? Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this is from Gundam Bill Divers Rerise. This is okay, okay. the quote unquote core Gundam. This little dwarf. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, that, look, that, look, that looks like a bitch baby right. Gundam. Uh-huh. So, but it has. Oh, all, planetary extras. Right, so, but it has all of these. Uh, planetary 
Yeah. Well, it has all these forms. It's it's fully common rider, right? It has like mm-hmm. it has forms oh, yeah, based yeah, off yeah, of yep, the planets. I'm going down. I'm, I'm seeing it right yeah. now. Yeah. Um. So. Right. Yeah. It. But like in the show, right? The plot of it is that what happened was the main character showed up on like the opening day of like the store or something, and there was some bully or whatever like beating kids like yeah, with yeah, yeah, hey, fucking hey hey look hey look 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 see you later Ash. yeah with some souped up right. with some souped up like custom gundam and he was like oh okay i can take this like entry grade entry grade which is a whole other grade that i've ignored in like yeah. my description but it's basically mm-hmm. yeah, babby's yeah. first gunpla right yep yep and hey he, boy hey he he mm-hmm, took mm-hmm. that entry grade rx78 2 and basically beat his opponent with it, but after beating his opponent with it, and again, in the sense that, like, in that world, you can actually have parts break, and it's just a shitty entry grade, all of the fucking, like, arms and all the limbs, like, broke. And so he just took the stubby little, like, quadru- like, uh, uh, oh, god damn it, what is it? Uh... Full amputee? What are the, what's the fucking term? Oh, quadriplegic? quadriplegic like yeah, quadriplegic amputee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. and, of this Gundam. And then he went, I'll make a bunch of, essentially, uh, fucking, like, prosthetics for it. And prosthetic armors okay. that it can modify into. And there's this whole okay, thing about, yeah. like, him pulling out each armor and using them for, like, different purposes and different matchups and, like, fights. And none of that is here for this. There's no mm-hmm. creativity. There's no real modification yeah, to the right? back For end. Yeah, sure, based on the built, East that's East. supposed to be a sub-entry to the built franchise, it's not very built. Yeah. Build, right? It's... Like, literally, they couldn't just name this any other Gundam series without having the build subtitle. I mean, I get that they're trying like, they to literally could have called this Gundam, Gundam Live. Yeah. Gundam, Gundam Real Drama. Live Real or some shit, yeah. right? But because it's trying to be, like, part of this Gundam build, like, sub-franchise, it just comes up short. It doesn't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I I guess if I gotta give this thing a review, um, even for, even for, like, a Gundam series, uh, this couldn't possibly be more than 6 out of 10. It has some interesting moments, some stuff that makes you laugh and go like, oh, that's interesting, or that's entertaining. Yeah, hey, boy, hey, hey, that, uh, hey, look, we get it, those, that mayonnaise is supposed to be him, was supposed to be his jizz because a girl touches him. Oh, she got so close to my face. Like, Mm -hmm. but there's just too many fucking, like, loose ends left at the end, and just things that are brought up that aren't able to be uh, followed up on, and you know, maybe they'll get a, another season where they can wrap some of this stuff up, but nothing that it's shown so far is really encouraging to say that they will actually like, interesting, do that. right, yeah. Right, like, like, yeah, like, I wasn't, like, I wasn't really roped into the show, right, like, it wasn't interesting enough to keep, like, an audience, like, like, to, to be invested into the show, right, because due to how the pace of the show is really bad, and how it's done. He's, there's, there's unironically too many characters in this show. Even though, even though none of those characters unique. actually get developed. Yeah, and it's partially right? because there's too many. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, it, like it, I, I knew there was so how there was so much character when we got to the last battle, right? And, and it was like, oh, fuck, who was the one that was supposed to be the commander of Nakamura of the, of the team? Yeah, Nakamura. He was just there. He was like, boy, not, we we're just saying stuff at this point, you know? Yeah. Right? I mean, they clearly right. made him the commander as, like, and you can be the, um, uh, commander, sure. Yeah, you, 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 uh... Say things. Y- yeah, you, 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 you're the one that talks good. Even though he clearly... Yeah, but even, if the funny part, even it, it didn't really matter, because we could show that... That apparently there's like no minimum amount or like there's no maximum 
number of people you can have on a team as it was a savage within the show. Yeah. Like, you can have one, two person. You can have, like, three person, right? Yeah, you can, have, you can have one fat kid right, with right, a fucking right, right, mobile right, 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 armor. Right, the problem is, like, the more people you add onto the team... The, the the more the more unneeded roles that they get that could have just been a simple role, yeah, right? Yeah, it could just be one person. And, and I guess again, it was like, is, is, is it like this? This was yeah. like the, it was like fuck. What, 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 what do you call those people that that does the NASCAR pit stop, things with pit, the yeah pit crew? Yeah, the pit stop, right? Is it like they were like a pit stop team where everyone had their own roles that they had to I do? Mean, I mean, I mean, Takumi seemed... was the pit crew. Takumi and yeah. Soto were the pit crew initially, and then mm-hmm. and then. Talk to me was the pit crew. Mm-hmm. And then... I mean, they literally, during it, would say, like, pit break. Right, right, right. So they were literally the pit crew. Pit crew. Like, one of them was the mm-hmm. one being like, yeah, just go straight, keep going, you go go hard, do this, there's the... Th-. Yeah. And, like, strategy and stuff, the other one's like, I'm fixing all the shit. Yeah. Somebody else is just like, hey, everything looks good, mm-hmm. overall, good to go, ready, set, go. But it's like... It's... So everyone kind of has a job. Yeah, I mean... The abhorrence is... There. Like, I guess... I guess Serial Killer Boy analyzes the data afterwards. And fucking, mm-hmm. like... I guess I'm And Nakamaru tells them what to do. But the thing is, nobody gives a shit what Nakamaru tells them to do. And mm-hmm. Serial Killer Boy is really bad at his job because the data keeps telling him, Yeah, we're gonna lose. And he keeps going, I don't know why we keep losing. Yeah. Boy, what's what that? I tell him? Boy, yeah, I'll, is it is it our fault that we keep losing? No, that can't possibly <laughs> be it. Their power is just too mm-hmm. great. Yeah, boy. What we need yeah, is a new really weapon. Jarring with these characters, the character dynamic within this show, right? Yeah, none of them really ever fucking like. Also, it was not all, amazing, which... all of a sudden became like the pseudo main character by the by the last episode, right? Even though we're we've been following a hero. Yeah, I mean, right to be fair, at least, uh, Takumi, like, Takumi got got put through the most shit because Hiro kept bullying him. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe that's why he kept having fucking mental breakdowns and sweating because he thought yeah. Hiro was gonna strike him again. <laughs> like, literally, they. It's just like a. It's like, so going back to like, Molly and I's like free, like comparison. It's like if you compared yeah. Haru, if you had Haru mm-hmm. and Rin in one character, and he was just punching himself yeah. in the face. Okay. Wait, no, yeah, am I thinking no. of the wrong one? Ray? Ray? No, I think the... you're talking about the right one. But Shark Ray Boy. One? Yes. Ray. If Shark Boy. Okay, but that... if Haru and Shark Boy were one person, that would be John. that would be Hero. Mm-hmm. He's you both more of a Makoto and Rin because he's both like it's not even a Rin thing. It's he's a Makoto hero for boy. I mean Haru. Or Haru. Yeah. Well, because like you got the Haru. I like thing. I like thing. Thing mm-hmm. like thing. Yeah. Versus the like feelingsy sides of like Makoto, who's just like but like dude kind of worried stuff. Well, I feel like Takumi is the one that's kind of worried. Hero is... Oh, no, no. I was saying that Hero, angsty, angry boy, oh. is yeah. Paru and Rin. He's like, I have the passion for this, and I'm only focused on Gunpla. But also, why do you keep fucking up? You keep causing problems for us. I'm gonna throw you into this trash. Yeah. And then yeah, Takumi hey, is the meet, Makoto. Meet me by, meet me by the, by the, by the, the port in our, in, our, yeah. in our town. Yeah. He's an angry heart, basically. Because yeah. technically Soda would be Rin. I'm on the other yeah. team. Like, no, yeah. I'm just saying that... But, but Haru, Haru... But because... But Soda <laughs> never actually, like, throw his hands at anybody. He's not grabbing people. Har- or Hero... Jesus Christ. Hero is the only <laughs> one... <laughs> Hero is the only one going around threatening his own teammates. You're right. He, mm-hmm. You know, Hero like... Right. Yeah. Telling fucking Nakamaru that he fucking sucks and shit. Like, <laughs> being... Like, tell him, talk me to, like, like it's you're the one who stole everything, free. and it's like, like no, I'm you didn't. I'm just gonna yell into your mouth now. Yeah, COVID. Mm-hmm. God. Yeah. Anyway. And that's how you get her. Yeah. I'm gonna yell into your mouth now! Thank you, Raiders and 
Percentable. Yeah, shout out to Octopimp for fifty uh, percent off for making uh, free palatable. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I I think that's about <sighs> enough for this. Maybe, maybe. Hey, fun fact, actually, uh -huh. recently announced uh, new Gundam fr new Gundam series coming out. Mainline yeah. Gundam franchise. No idea if it's an alternate timeline series or if it's Universal Century or whatever, but it's an mm -hmm. actual Gundam anime coming out in October. The Witch on Mercury. Yeah, good Ooh, title. I'm like not gonna lie. Yeah. Don't know what's don't know what and it's gonna be. Substance, you know, all the versions. Don't yeah. Don't know what so, it's gonna yeah. be. I thought I thought and I thought like, boy, what's going on with yeah. that? Don't know if that's gonna tie into Iborf, Iron Blood Orphans? Is this just gonna be mm -hmm. a new thing? Is this gonna be a trip back to Universal Century? Who knows? But I guess we'll find out in October. It seems like anyway, yeah. it seems Ellie's like it was better than goddamn Gun Girl Lady. So. Oh yeah, it's definitely better yeah. than Gun Girl Lady. Bandai it seems like <laughs> Bandai is going, hey, there's maybe we should just stick to supporting the fucking like Toei shit. Let's let's just let them do common. Well, we'll just make common writers kits. Maybe we should cut back on trying to put our dip our toes in the fucking live action. Oh wait, we still <laughs> have that fucking Netflix thing happening. We, we yeah. tried to make it a thing that like girls would like, and that didn't work. Yeah. So maybe girls can get interested if we do. Gonna build hey, look, hey, may, may, look, maybe maybe we make the Gundam pink. Girls will buy it. Ooh. My hey, how many pink Gundams do you own, Molly? Um, I own at least. Two horrors that are pink. All right, there you go. It worked. Three bears. It worked. That are pink. Two and a half. What does? Hold that on. That one's semi-custom pink. Oh. The light pink. And okay. Dark pink. And then I do also have the red, which is the red pink Zaku for Hello Kitty. Well, yeah, but which that's isn't completely. That's different. not pink because of girls. That's pink because of Char. Char's okay. mobile yes. mobile suit is has pink has red base I know, I'm just saying we, we asked about the general color oh we're yeah yeah about purpose if we're talking about general purpose then all I right. all right all right are, are we done yeah anyway oh, okay hey there you go we ended we're ending with molly and her and her gundam yeah collection. all right hey like get shots don't shoot people uh Eat it, your hands wash your face wash everything uh be clean uh, booster don't shots are a thing wear masks uh, and money uh, get a I'm fucking goddamn uh, booster shot. Okay, thanks. Right. Bye.